back to my channel if we haven't even met before my name is Shiv hello and if you're coming back then welcome in today's video I am doing a grungy glam makeup tutorial which is the look that I am wearing right now using this subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills I just was rummaging through my makeup the other day when I was cleaning my room and I thought do you know what I haven't used these these colors in a very long time and I wanted to have a little play with them and this is what I came up with I really like it I think it's really eye-catching and super smoky and smoldery I'm really into it so if you would like to see how I created this look then please carry on watching but before you do this video is actually kind of my entry for the Phil Unique competition I've done an Instagram video of this makeup look using the products you can get from Phil Unique this video is not sponsored or anything I just wanted to let you know that my link for my competition entry will be in the description box below so if you have a spare few seconds please go watch it and give it a little double tap I'd really appreciate it but without further ado let's just jump straight into the tutorial so I rarely include my brows in a tutorial, but I thought I would today. So today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 15 brush with a medium brown dip brow. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this and apply it to my brows. So I'm just going to start by applying this in a line underneath the brow, just to shape it the way I want it to. I like my eyebrows quite arched, that's what I'm going to do here. Just in small hair-like strokes. And then just bringing it round the tail of the brow in like a curvy motion. Then I'm just going to follow the natural line of the brow, an upward stroke, just to follow the line we created underneath. Then I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the brow, like the space that we don't have any product on. I do like quite a bold brow, but if you don't, just fill in the sparse areas of your eyebrow for a more natural look. So next I'm going to carve out my brows and to do that I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Innocent Anti-Age Eraser Concealer in the shade Light To Do So on a small lip brush, any small synthetic brush will work. I'm just going to kind of like paint this across my eyelid. I'm also going to use it as my eyeshadow base and then I'm just going to take some onto the brush just by squeezing it kind of out of the sponge. And I'm going to use this to carve my brows and just make them look nice and neat. So once that's all on the eye, I'm just going to take my ring finger and just tap that into the skin just so it doesn't go cakey. Once that's all patted into the skin, I'm just going to go ahead and set that into place. So I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, or what's left of it to do so. I'm just taking this flat brush from Spectrum Collections. Just going to pat that on top of the lid just to set the concealer in place. So the palette I'll be taking for this look is the Subculture Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I haven't used this in a long while and I was digging through my makeup the other day and I was like, I want to use something different and this is definitely like a different palette to a lot of the palettes I own. I'm going to use this colour called Adorn with maybe some green and maybe a bit of this electric shade, just a bit of everything and I'm feeling like a bit of a grunge kind of glam look today so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So the first shade that I'll be taking from this palette is the shade Dawn which is this one right here to the top left of the palette which is like the neutral transition colour. Just going to tap off the excess and then I'm going to blend this into the crease of the eye using windshield wiper motions just because when you apply the darker shadows later on it will really help to blend everything out. And then I'm applying more so on the outer corner as well because that's always where I want the darkest part of the eye makeup look to be. It's just the most flattering like on my eye shape. Slowly bringing that upward and making sure it's really well blended. I'm also going to go ahead and take a little bit of that dawn shade and apply it under my lower lash line as well just to start the kind of like smokiness on the lower lash line. I'm just going to look up and run that under the lower lash line. Again, just do windshield wiper motions to make it nice and soft. 
Okay, so next I'm going to try something a little bit different to something that I've usually tried. So I'm going to go ahead and take this shade here, which is called Edge, which is like a mustard off yellow colour. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one right here. I'm taking this on a skinny blending brush. I'm going to apply it on the kind of first half of the inner corner, blending it out really softly. And then later I'm going to go into this new wave shade, which is like a dark, darker mustard orange kind of colour I just describe it as. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it like on this half of the outer corner. So we'll see what this looks like. So I'm going to start with the colour Edge. <laughs> tapping off the excess quite a bit because I really don't want this to be too intense. I'm just going to start blending that into the inner section right here, just really softly. Then I'm just going to keep adding a little bit more till I like how it looks, just building it up very slowly. Then I'm going to go into this new wave shade right here and do the same thing on the outer third of the kind of transitional area. The very light hand is slowly building it up. Then I'm going to go back into that Dawn shade, just whatever's left on the brush, just to kind of blend it out a little bit more. Then I'm going to start by darkening things up. So I'm taking the colour Fudge, which I know is like an Anastasia favourite. So I'm just taking this, which is a fudgy chocolatey brown, into the outer corner, and then I'm going to start slowly bringing it inwards just to really smoke things out. And the brush I'm using for this, by the way, is just a blending brush. This is the 230 blending brush from Primark, believe it or not. So I'm just taking it the teeniest amount, just to kind of lay down a little bit of colour at first, just working this into the outer corner of the eye. Going in with a teeny bit of that new wave shade again, just to kind of help blend it out a little bit more. And then go back in with the fudge shade. Okay, so now to smoke it up even more, I'm going to work a little bit on the lower lash line. So I'm taking that shade New Wave, which is like the mustardy orange shade, just because I don't think edge will show up as much as I want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and tap off the excess and then just smoke this out on the lower lash line. This look isn't supposed to be like in my head, like not like a really pretty look. It's going to be more like smoky grunge kind of glam vibes. That's what I'm going for anyway. I'm just kind of smoking that out, back and forth, not being like really neat with this at all. Then I'm going to go ahead and take fudge as well and concentrate this on the outer section of the lower lash line. I definitely feel like a lower lash line can really make or break a look, especially if it's really smoky. I just think it makes so much difference. Then I'll take the same brush that has a little bit of New Wave on it, just to go over the top of it and make it look really smoky. Okay, I'm very happy with that. I think it looks very smoky. Okay, next. What are we going to do next? So next I'm taking this gorgeous, bronzy, golden, brown, gorgeous colour called Adorn from this palette. This is my favourite colour from the palette. I'm going to go ahead and apply some fixing spray to a flat shader brush to apply it. And then I'm going to go into the shadow Adorn, really working that onto the brush. This is one of those shadows that you really have to like push onto the bristles. Once you kind of figure out how to use the palette, like I actually think it's really good. So then I'm going to pack this onto the lid. Just look how gorgeous that is. It doesn't even need a base. It's so nice. Working that onto the lid. I'm not doing like a cut crease or anything like that. I just want it to be smoky. <laughs> Then I've just dipped back into fudge a tiny little bit just to kind of tap over the outer corner where it blends in. Bam! 
Okay, next up, I feel like Winged Liner has just kind of taken a suitcase and gone on holiday because I feel like Winged Liner is just a thing of the past. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take a eyeliner pencil. This is Nude by Nature with the shade. It is in the shade brown. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and take this brown eyeliner pencil. It also has like a smudger on the outer corner as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of run that atop on top of the lash line just to give it some what's of some smokiness if I can get my words out without being like too much like a harsh black and then you just take a little smudger on this side just to kind of like smudge it blend it into the lashes and you can see the difference how it just defines the lashes a little bit then I'm just going to pop this in the inner rims of the eyes as well Next I'm just going to curl my lashes using this Primark Eyelash Curler. So I'm just going to pop this on close to the lash line, make sure it's not touching my skin and then give it a squeeze. So for mascara I'll be taking the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara which is actually one of my favourites. This is just in the shade black. I feel like it adds a lot of volume to your lashes so I'm going to go ahead and apply this mascara. I am going to pop falsies on but I'm going to do that in a little bit once I've got the rest of my face makeup on. So now let's move on to my face. Okay so for the face I'm going to start off with the Primark Primer Water. This is just my favourite primer. I just feel like it makes my skin feel nice and refreshed. And I love it. So give it a good old shake. And then I'm just going to take this little hand mirror just to fan myself dry. Now I'm going to be taking my favourite foundation, which is the Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation. This is in the shade Ivory. I'm just going to be taking that on my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm just going to start by bouncing this all around the face just to blend it into the skin and adding the fullest coverage that I possibly can. And then also blend it down the neck as well so we don't have like a sharp line, even this is even though this is a paler foundation than I usually wear. So now I'm just going to cream contour using this shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Light Contour Kit. This is the shade Light Sculpt. I'm just going to take a teeny tiny bit of this because this contour kit is very intense, like really intense. So I'm just taking the tiniest amount on a flat foundation brush just to apply it and then I'm just going to be really light handed, apply that under my cheekbone around my temples try to bring it quite close to the hairline as well so I don't have that weird gap then apply it around my hairline this just helps to make the I don't know, really know what it does but it just makes your face look nice so I don't really know how to explain it bronzing up the sides of my face then I'm going to take a teeny bit down the sides of my nose kind of got onto my nose but we're just going to pretend that's what I'm meant to do. Under my lip as well just to make it look nice and pouty and then also a little bit just under my jawline as well. Then to blend it out I'll be taking this brush from Real Techniques. It's the, what is this? This is the Expert Face Brush. No it's not. This is the buffing brush. Like if you are an OG YouTuber and you remember when Real Techniques launched, this was like the brush to apply your foundation with. But I'm just going to use this to blend out the contour. And windshield wiper motions, being careful not to bring the contour too far down on my face. Otherwise it kind of has the risk of looking a bit muddy and that's not what we want. So now the contour is all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. I used this earlier just to prime my lids. I'm just going to twist some up, apply some to the middle of my chin, above my lip, down at the side, centre of my nose. In the middle of the brows and then in the middle of the forehead. And then of course under the eyes. 
Then I was going to blend out my concealer using the Real Techniques and Miracle Complexion Sponge. Because this is quite a grungy look, I'm not too worried about the under eyes being really bright. I'm also just covering out like any kind of darkness, but I'm not too fast if they're like not really highlighted um, because I'm smoking at this bit quite far down anyway. Next, we need to set all this in place. I'm just taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder to do so. so I'm swirling my brush into whatever's left in the pan, tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to start by patting this into areas that need the most powder. So sort of like my chin, my T-zone and my forehead. Tap, tapping, 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 tapping. What is that thing, thing in The Simpsons? It's like tap, a tap, a tap. -a, da -na 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 -na. Then I'm also going to set under my eyes, around my nose, and then like over the contour and my lower jaw as well. Because my skin and my makeup cannot cope with this heat at the moment. I'm lucky because my room is the coldest room in the house. So in the summer it's perfect, but when I step outside it's literally like stepping into a sauna at the moment. Not complaining, just acknowledging the weather like a true Brit. <laughs> okay, so next step is to contour. I'm going to use the Nip and Fab Light Contour Kit and I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Ginger to Contour. Then to contour, I'm just going to take this angled brush I've kind of run out of my usual brushes, they all need to be washed. So I'm just kind of like DIYing, I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm just going to take this brush, tap off the excess and then start applying this under my cheekbone. And then taking this along the tops of my forehead and around the sides of my forehead. I've decided that I'm not going to bronze or put blush on, I just quite like the way my skin looks like this. Obviously, I'm going to be applying highlight, but first I need to set the skin. So to do that, I'm taking the Revolution Pro Supreme Hold Finishing Spray. Just going to give it a good shake and spray this on. <laughs> and then take my hand mirror just to fan it dry. Then my favourite part of any makeup look is the highlighter. Today I'm taking my favourite sleek makeup solstice palette. I use this all the time. This is on par with my Ambrisi highlighter and it's £10 and you get all these four colours in it. But I'm, to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and take this one here if you can see that. So one that I've hit pan on, it is like the champagne-y kind of colour in the palette. Taking this right here, it's so pretty. So I'm just going to spritz my Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion Brush with a little bit of setting spray just to help pick up the highlighter, give it a shake so it's not like dripping wet. Then go into the highlighter. I want this highlighter to be so intense. Are you ready? I don't think you are. Here we go. Yes. Building it up until we are a glazed donut. And then a little bit just above the brow. I just think it looks nice when you tilt your head like that. Then I'm going to take a little bit on the tip of my nose, down my nose and then on the top of my lip. Then I'm going to take the brush that had the contour on it just to kind of lightly tap over it. This is just gonna help blend it in. Now I want to apply a load of that to the inner corner. So I'm just going to take this random brush from Urban Decay and apply that to the inner corner of my eye. Just makes so much difference. It really opens up the eyes. Then I'm going to take a smaller, flatter brush to apply it to the brow bone as well. And then take the brush that I had Dawn on it from earlier just to blend out the highlight on the brow bone so it's just not one sharp line. Now I'm going to apply some brow gel. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I'm just going to run this through the brows to set them in place. I'm just going to re-smoke out the lash line a little bit where the powder had like taken the intensity away. So I'm just taking the brush that had fudge on it, it will have plenty of product left to kind of like add the intensity back. And then I'm taking the brush that had the yellow mustardy kind of shade just to blend that out as well. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. I'll fix up any mess in a little bit with a cotton bud just where it's gone onto the skin. That's not an issue at 
all. Okay, so moving on to the lips, I'm taking Barry M's lip liner in the shade Pose, which is like a pale pink kind of nude colour. For lipstick, I'm taking the Rimmel London 43 lipstick. This is the one in collaboration with Kate Moss, I believe. Just taking this as a nice peachy pink nude, and these lipsticks smell amazing. Do you know what? I actually don't want to put lashes on, and I can't believe I'm saying that, but I feel like it actually goes with the kind of like smoky grunge glam look, and I feel like if I put lashes on, it's going to look too like put together. Do you know what I mean? I know what I mean. That's all that matters. As long as you know what you mean, that's all that matters. Anyway, this is the finished makeup look using the Subculture palette to create a kind of grungy, glowy, glam. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I don't kind of vibe. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know if you like this makeup look and if you created a look yourself using the Subculture palette. I feel like this one is quite underrated when it comes to the Anastasia palettes and yeah, I feel like I wanted to show it some love. So that's what I did today and thanks so much for watching. Bye! So now to consider what? <laughs> Oh my god, I just got it all over my fingers. Ah! It looks like I've got poop on my fingers. Proud of you, gorgeous. Thanks. Now I've got to film the intro and then some posy shots. Buzzing, mate! Look at me go! Hey, mate. Go buzzing, bo 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 boy. <laughs> I went to say, I went You're going to go buzzing, boy! <laughs> no, I went to say boo and then babe at the same time. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met before, haven't we met before? What? Okay, so I always. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to be saying? <laughs> Why are you doing that? Because I put it in reverse for the Instagram video so it looks like I'm catching it. Did either one of you fart? Mm. It was you, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Why are you so smelly? Can we get a KFC please? And I shall see you next time. Thanks so much. So, blah, blah.